Hello everyone and welcome to CAD CAM C tutorials. Here in this video we are going to create a 3D model of refrigerator condenser coil that you can see on the screen right now. After creating the coil we will also create the fins to enhance the heat transfer area. So let's begin it. So let us first close it and we will go for a file. Select here new part and ok. Now first we make background plain white. So we will select here plain white. Now first we need to create one sketch on the front plane. So we will go for the sketch and select here the front plane. Now here we will insert one horizontal line. So we will select here line and we will create one horizontal line like this. Now we will go for the smart dimension. Length of this line is of 400. So enter here 400. Now the distance of this end point from the origin that is the horizontal distance is of 200 and the vertical distance between the line and the origin that is of 0 mm. Now we will exit the smart dimension. After creating this line we have to make pattern for 15 such lines. So we we'll select here this line. Select here linear sketch pattern. Now here we want to create pattern in the negative y direction. So in the x direction we want only one pattern so we will select here one. In the y direction we want 15 such pattern so we will select here 15. Now here we want pattern in negative y direction so we will reverse the direction and the distance between two consecutive line is of 40 mm so we will enter here 40. Now we will just click on ok. After creating the pattern we have to create semicircular arc on these ends and for that we will select here three point arc and we will create semicircular arc like this. After creating semicircular arc on the left side, we have to create semicircular arc on the right side also. And for that also we will select here three point arc and we will create arc like this. Now we have to create other arc similarly. Now after creating semicircular arc on the left side and the right side, we will exit the smart dimension and we will select here the line. Now we will create one sketch like this. Now we will go for the smart dimension and the length of this horizontal line is of 50 mm. After that we will exit the smart dimension. Now we will go for the sketch fillet. So we will select here sketch fillet. The fillet radius is of 30 mm. And then we have to select here this corner point and click on OK. After creating this, we have to create here the quarter circle at this end point. And for that, we will select here the center point arc and we will create a quarter circle like this. After creating this quarter circle, we will go for the smart dimension and we will apply radius as a 20 mm. After applying the radius, we will exit the smart dimension. Now we will select here line and we will create one vertical line like this. After creating this line, we will select here the smart dimension and length of this vertical line is of 100 mm. Now after applying the dimension, we will exit the smart dimension. Now we will select here end point of this line. Press Ctrl and select here this end point. For both this point, we will select here horizontal as a constraint and click on ok. Now this is our first sketch and we have completed it. So we will exit the sketch. Now we have to create a helix at this end point and for that we will select here the sketch and we will select here front plane as a sketching plane and we will go for the normal. Now here we have to create one circle with a diameter of 40 mm. So we will select here circle and we will create one circle like this. After that we will go for the smart dimension and we will apply diameter as a 40 mm. After specifying the diameter we will exit the smart dimension. Now we will drag the circle over here like this. Now we will select here center point of circle. Press ctrl and we will select here this end point. 
for both these points, we'll select here horizontal as a constraint and click on OK. After that, we'll select here the circle, press Ctrl and select here this line. For both these, we'll select here tangent as a constraint and click on OK. So this is the base circle to create the helix. Now we'll exit the sketch. After creating this circle, we'll go for the features. Select here curves and select helix and spiral. Now here we have to select pitch and revolution. Now we have to go for the constant pitch and the pitch is of 10 mm. So we'll enter here 10 mm. Now we have to create only one revolution and the start angle is of 0 degree. And you have to make sure that we want to create the helix in the clockwise direction and click on OK. After creating this helix, we have to create one plane that is passing through this endpoint. To create that plane, we select here the reference geometry and select here the plane. Now we select here this endpoint of the helix. For the second reference, we select here the front plane and click on OK. After creating this plane, we have to create one sketch on this plane. So we'll go for the sketch and we'll go for the normal view. Now here we have to create one vertical line and for that we'll select here the line. Now we'll create one vertical line from here like this. The length of this line is of 45 mm. So we'll go for the smart dimension and apply length as a 45. Now we'll exit the smart dimension and we'll exit the sketch. Now after creating all these three sketches, we have to combine all these three sketch and for that we'll go for the features. In the features we'll go for the curves and select here composite curve. Now we have to select all the three sketches one by one like this. After selecting all these three sketches, you can find here all these three sketches that we have selected and you have to just click on this OK. After combining all these three sketches, we'll right click on this plan and we'll make it here hide. Now after combining all these three sketches into a single sketch, we'll go for the swap boss feature. For the swap boss feature, the cross section is of circle. So we'll select here circular profile and the diameter is of 5 mm. After specifying the diameter, we have to create the thin feature. So we'll check here thin feature. The thickness is of 1 mm. Now here for the guiding curve, we'll select here this composite curve. And you can find here that a preview is created. Now we have to make sure that the thickness is on the outside of 5 mm. So from here you can see that the thickness is on the outside. So the outer diameter of this coil is of 5 plus 2 that is 7 mm. And then we'll click on just OK. After creating this coil, we'll right click on this composite curve and we'll make it here hide. After creating this coil, we have to create here the fins to enhance the heat transfer area. And for that, we have to create one plan. So we'll go for the reference geometry and select here the plan. For the reference, we'll select here the front plan. The distance of this plan from the front plan and that is of 4 mm. So we'll enter here 4 and then we'll click on OK. After creating this plane, we have to create one sketch on this plane. And for that, we'll go for the sketch and select here this plane and we'll go for the normal view. Now here we have to create one vertical line and for that we'll select here line and we'll create one vertical line like this. After creating this vertical line, we'll go for the smart dimension. The vertical distance between the end point of the line and the origin that is of 20 mm. The horizontal distance between the line and the origin that is of 189. After specifying these two distance, we have to specify length of the line that is of 605. Now after creating this line, we'll exit the smart dimension and we'll exit the sketch. Now we'll go for the features and select here swap boss feature. Now in our case, the cross section of the fins is of circle. So we'll select here circular profile and the diameter is of 2 mm. So we'll specify here 2 mm. 
now we'll exit the sweep now after creating a single fin we have to create pattern of this fin and for that we'll select here the sweep feature now we'll go for the linear pattern for the direction we'll select here this surface now here you can see the preview of the pattern in our case we have to generate 15 such pattern so for the instances we'll enter here 15 the distance between the two fin is of 8 mm so we'll enter here 8 mm after that we'll just click on this ok after creating pattern of this single fin we have to create pattern of this linear pattern for that we'll select here this linear pattern now we'll go for the linear pattern of this pattern for the direction we'll select again the same surface of the coil now here in our case we have to create pattern on the opposite side so we'll just click on this reverse the direction now here we have to create three such pattern so for number of instance we'll select here three now the distance between two consecutive pattern is of 135 so we'll enter here 135 now you can see the preview of the pattern that is to be created now we'll just click on the ok after creating this pattern we have to create mirror of this pattern and for that we'll select here both these patterns now we'll go for the mirror for the mirror plane we'll select here the front plane now here you can also see the preview of the mirror and click on ok after creating this mirror we have to go for the appearance so we'll select here entire part we'll go for the appearance in the appearance we'll go for the painted car and we'll select here this black color so here in this video we have created the 3d model of refrigerator condenser coil i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video then please hit on the like button share it and subscribe to this channel catcamc tutorials thanks